welcome back to the Slay Girl Slay YouTube channel. My name is Ashley and I am the founder of Slay Girl Slay and host of the super dope Slay Girl Slay podcast, if I do say so myself. <laughs> if you are new to this channel, welcome boo. I don't know how you found me, but I'm glad that you're here. Happy New Year. We are well beyond the acceptable timeline to say Happy New Year, <laughs> but I haven't been here in a while and I haven't had a chance to say Happy New Year, Merry Christmas, and thank you for helping me end season four of the Slay Girl Slay podcast. Y'all, I am still getting messages about the finale episode of season four, and I always say I don't really be hugging people like that, especially with Kovisha out here in these streets, but I'd hug all of you. <laughs> I am currently on break from the show. The show is on break and we're about to get ready for season five, which is crazy, but it's a blessing. Over the past month or so, I've just taken some time to relax and get some rest and I've been watching all the TV y'all. Right now I am currently watching Euphoria and baby. But to all my pod listeners out there, I love you, I miss you, and I'll be back on the mic soon. I know when, but I can't tell y'all, so you're gonna have to wait. If you aren't hip to the show and you know nothing about me, I am a big dreamer, right? I live to chase big dreams. Several years ago, I decided that I would never settle for anything less than what I knew I deserve, no matter my circumstances, no matter what job I have, no matter where I live. Literally, nothing keeps me from dreaming big and setting major goals for myself. As you kick this year off, boo, and your goals are fresh on your mind, and right now you're probably super motivated to accomplish them, let me just first say, slay on, boo, okay? Get yours and do what you came to do by any means necessary. You know how we roll here. But as you go about this year, I want you to realize that there will be moments, there might be seasons where things look like they aren't really working out the way that you imagine them to. And whatever plans you have right now, whatever goals you've set for yourself, I want you to stick with those plans, stick with those goals, no matter what happens this year. I want you to stick with your plan A. Just because things don't look like they're working out for you right now, it doesn't mean that they aren't working out for you, you feel me? But when we get frustrated and we're burnt out and we're tired and we've lost all sense of motivation to keep going, we start thinking, well, maybe there's something else that I can do, right? Maybe this is too much. Maybe I bit off more than I can chew. There aren't a lot of people that believe in what I'm doing right now, but boo, that's a Jedi mind trick if I ever saw one. My first big dream was to move away from Chicago and live in LA. It was New York at first, but I went to New York and the rats look like puppies. But that was my big dream back then. It was December, 2016. I wanted to move. I told my parents, once I set that goal and I set the plan to get there, y'all, it felt like all hell broke loose in my life. And I don't know about y'all, but when I get real clear on what I want, it seems like that's when things hit the fan and everything starts to fall apart, things get in the way, and that dream just feels so much harder to achieve. I remember applying to so many jobs and I went on so many interviews just to get the job out there. And every single time it was a no. No, you're overqualified. No, your qualifications don't match. Too much experience, not enough experience. And after a while, my spirit started to break because it looked like it wasn't working out. I started losing steam. And I was just like, God, I know you put this on my heart for a reason. I know this is what I'm supposed to be doing. Can you open up a door or two, please? <laughs> and I felt like he was just looking at me like, sorry, Tiz. Rejection after rejection. I was frustrated. My relationship started to change with a lot of people because they didn't see what I saw, you know? And after a full year of really trying and getting no every single time, both my parents had to sit me down and they said, Ash, what's your plan B? 
And I know any parent who loves and cares about their kid would ask, right? I mean, it's a valid question. This ain't working out, sis. What you gonna do? But that's when I drop the ball and I say, you know what? Maybe this moving thing isn't for me. Maybe this dream isn't for me. Maybe I'm supposed to just stay here and do the same old things with the same old people. Just being so hard on myself. I gave up. I lost my spark. And then my life felt like I had just pressed the cruise control button and I was just there watching it and not living it. Now, thankfully, y'all know how this story ends. If you've watched any of the other videos or listened to the podcast, you know how it goes. But in the midst of all that heaviness, I started Slay Girl Slay. And I decided that no one else would feel the way I felt when they wanted to achieve something, when they wanted to chase a dream. And that if another woman out there has a dream, come hell or high water, she can make it come true if it had anything to do with me. And a few months later, I found a job in LA and then I moved. And although I am back from LA, <laughs> if you know, you know. But my point is the dream came true because I stuck with it. Stick with your plan A this year, sis. Whatever that plan is, whatever happens, even if you have no idea how it's gonna work out, it will, no matter how big they are, no matter how old you are, no matter what your life looks like today, if you stick with it and keep sticking with it this year, and I mean on the really hard days, on the really dark days, on the really bad days, it eventually happens. If you get nothing else from this video today, get this. Do not give up, sis. I know it's tough, right? Because the life that you see right now, what you're looking at right now, it doesn't match what you see in your head. It doesn't look remotely close to what you've dreamed up for yourself. And you have no idea how you're gonna get from here to there. But I guarantee you, if you keep going, you will. Keep going, keep praying, even if you feel God is quiet. I learned that sometimes he stays quiet just to see what you're gonna do to see how much faith you really have. You and I have to remember that we are exactly where we need to be right now, like today. And everything leading up to this point has worked itself out. We used to pray for the things that we have now. Am I right? Those prayers came true. Maybe not all of them, but some of them. So you have to choose to believe that the dreams that you have, the plans that you have made, the goals that you've set will come true too. Keep shining, boo. Keep dreaming, keep pushing, and always stick with your plan A. Your life really does depend on it. Okay, if no one told you this today, I am proud of you, I believe in you, and there is truly nothing you can't do if you don't put your mind to it. Wherever you are in the world, boo, have a beautiful rest of your day, have a beautiful rest of your week, but always remember it costs nothing to be kind. Show up and show out today and be the best you that only you can be. Until our next video, we'll chat soon, boo. Peace.